नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक दैट इज चोजन टुडे इज हाउ जी एस टी इज गोन इम्पैक्ट द लॉजिस्टिक सेक्टर द ट्रिगर फॉर दिस वॉज माई कॉन्वर्सेशन विन वन ऑफ माई जूनियर्स फ्रॉम आई एम ए हु इज नाउ इन सम वी सी एंड इन हैज रिसेंटली इन्वेस्टेड इन द लॉजिस्टिक सेक्टर एंड ही वॉन्टेड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ एग्जैक्टली विल जी एस टी चेंज द फॉर्चून ऑफ द लॉजिस्टिक सेक्टर so this is anurag as usual sharing the little that he knows and uh, the only way to follow me would be to subscribe to this channel and keep watching all the random stuff that i keep sharing of special importance is the logistics and transport industry in india because it's worth more than 130 billion dollars therefore acting as a important cog in the entire infrastructure superstructure according to a recent survey if we could reduce waiting time of trucks by 50% we could have 8% additional trucks on the highway and given the complex structure the indian transport industry spends up almost 50% to 60% of its time and resources on tax compliance together with trucks queuing up at interstate checkpoints also known as that chungi points for tracking and inspection of interstate sales tax you will not believe that the ministry of road transport and highways had come up with a study which said that tip that the truck typically spends 16% of its time at check posts therefore a truck in india covers an average annual distance of only 85000 km as compared to 150000 to 2000 km 200000 km in advanced countries so we expect that the gst is going to eliminate such delays and long queues on these check posts so uh, what will be specific the uh, points of action so one will be the interstate tax burden so currently each of india's 29 states tax goods that move across their borders post gst there's going to be uniform taxation and no varying tax structures would be allowed across states so the present st- structure of excise duty of 12.5% service tax of 15% sales tax of 15% customs of 11.9 and entry tax which varies from state to state all of them get subsumed within the cgst IGST and SGST. As far as transport industry is concerned, it is going to have uh, the service tax and the sales tax, also in various forms such as entry tax, to get subsumed here. So, this is common knowledge. Excise and service tax will be replaced by SG, CGST. CST will be IGST and custom duty will be there in place of. CVD and SAD will have IGST, and uh, these two will have a local levy of CGST and SGST. That's common knowledge. Now, uh, as far as logistics industry is concerned, the central and state taxes sums up to around twenty-five to ninety-seven percent on the goods, and uh, this existing structure is going to dissolve post GST, and with the unified structure, the rate has been expected to come down to around nineteen to twenty-one percent. now as far as again taxation is concerned uh, the definition of supply for those in the business of supply changes so most logistics companies operate in various models it could include an end to end supply model a warehouse and supply model a manufacturing plus storage plus supply model all of these models include the supply of goods that's the primary objective of this industry now when gst comes in the taxable event will not be manufacture which here so see uh, what is happening here is that the trigger is manufacture for excise service for service tax and sale for sales tax in gst it's going to be uniformly supply of goods so mere supply of goods and services as compared to the current taxable event either being manufacture sale or provision of service so every supply of goods from point c to point d will be taxed under gst if it can be considered as supply so that has far reaching consequences as regards the warehousing strategies of companies is concerned then if you look at uh, the classification differences between courier services and gta so there's a lot of confusion around whether logistics service providers should classify themselves under the bucket of courier services or gta which is subject to reverse charge although both of them fall within the service tax regime the complex senvet credit rules and procedures on the gta services often influences service providers and makes them not classify themselves as gta because again then this classic 
requirement of issuing a consignment note for each truck and applicability of the reverse charge for payment of service tax. So, and then uh, there is this transport industry enjoying these various thresholds or exemptions as in per truck, per month, which could also be done away within the GST regime once further reforms come in. Accordingly, a clear understanding and bifurcation of the applicable classification of services will be required to address the specific sector specific issues. So then uh, with GST coming in, these classification issues no longer remain and therefore there will be seamless flow of credit across the entire supply chain. So how does this impact trade? Goods are going to move freely and faster, saving 50 to 60 percent of the transporter's time. Markets are going to be unified and production processes will witness increased efficiencies, improving output. Warehouse consolidation, that's a very specific thing. So post GST, the decisions on where a company should locate is warehouse and distribution will be completely based on operations and logistics where efficiency rather than tax consideration. So instead of maintaining a small warehouse in each and every state, companies will be setting up lesser and bigger warehouses and can follow hub and spoke model for freight movement from warehouses to manufacturing plants, distributors and retailers. How would trade be impacted? So supply chain cycles are going to be shortened and deliveries will get faster. And then the reduced documentation processes are going to enhance efficiencies. How? Given the complex structure, the transport industry ends up spending 50% to 60% of its time on tax compliance, which we had recently studied. So uh, this again, I would try to re-emphasize that if 50% of the waiting time gets reduced, there's going to be a humongous change in the way this country operates. How is it going to impact trade therefore? Seamless movements across state borders and reduced vehicle times is going to result in lower operating costs. Corporates are expected to save up to 40% of the logistics costs. According to a World Bank report, says the All Cargo Logistics Law. How would trade further be impacted? There will be no tax evasion by the unorganized players under the GST regime. GST is going to streamline operations and ensure structured functioning of the industry. And as documentation scrutiny is run away, at every checkpoint, every checkpoint, you have inspectors hounding the truck drivers and the khalasis to show the way bills and the chalans. Efficiencies will go up by 40%. So how will logistics kind go up? So as these car trucks remain idle for 30 to 40 percent as per various industry estimates, this will be phased out because these border check posts are going to go away. Now the CBSE has proposed a e-way bill as part of easing interstate traffic movement in GST. That remains to be seen because the final draft of that has not yet come out. Now, so from being, uh, so if you look at the logistics industry in India, from being first party logistics provider, that's 1PL, to second party logistics provider, that's 2PL, to integrated third party logistics provider, 3PL, who provide a complete package of logistics services, transportation, warehousing, pool distribution, management consulting, logistics optimization, etc. And then combine them with the advanced SAPs. These companies will now have to restructure their business operations based on more in-demand locations for warehousing. Where the consideration is not that I need to create a warehouse in Bengal so that I can do a stock transfer to Bengal and uh, then do local bad filling. That is not going to happen. So you might have a hub, hub and spoke model for the entire East and Northeast together in Patna. So there uh, are going to be better optimization of facilities. Warehouses will become larger and you'll have economies of scale. Efficiencies in terms of time is going to come. A lot of automated services can come in. You'll have more forklifts coming in because of the larger size of... So you just don't have to have a warehouse just for the heck of saving taxes. So there, the challenge uh, will be for transport industry to reorganize itself. So that the warehouses will now be located near major distribution centers of its key clients, irrespective of geographic advantage. So you will have integrated warehouses at logistics suitable locations. Massive restructuring. Plus, uh, GST is going to entail uh, 
new set of compliance requirements for which companies have to adopt new ERP accounting system and inventory management system so that they will remain compliant during all stages. So technology for the transportation industry will play a role in easy tracking of consignments, managing complete hub and spoke model, centralized accounting, effective system to manage warehouse because warehouses will be fewer and larger and outsource the logistics operation. While the entire dynamics of the transportation logistics will undergo a sea change once GST is introduced, it is going to lead to leaner and fitter logistics industry. Again, greater efficiencies will come in. Businesses will prefer to engage integrated service providers that can manage end-to-end -end logistics and transport and bring in better control, visibility and efficiencies amidst chaos in the business environment. So, the logistics industry should start exploring different supply chain models with their clients so that they can become an end-to-end -end service provider. And at the same time, they should develop a completely synchronized ERP accounting system so that they can support inventory supply management as required under the GST regime. Thank you. In case you've got any questions, please leave behind in the comment section. While I'm not an expert on GST, I'll just try to figure out from people in my circle if I could answer those questions. Thank you.